Okay, so today we are going to look at representing linear non-proportional relationships. A relationship will be proportional if the ratios in a table of values of the relationship are constant. The graph of a linear relationship will be a straight line through the origin. If either of these is not true, the relationship is not proportional. Okay, so we've talked about that already. In order for it to be proportional, it has to be linear and it has to go through the origin. So, they gave me a table, and they've already done the work for me over here. Um, this is just an example um, for you to look at for notes purposes. Um, the one thing that I do want to talk about is the slope. So, if I look at the slope of this line, reading from right to left, it's going up. So, that tells me that the slope is positive. I want to look at that every time just so that we um, get an idea um, of what our slope looks like. Okay, so the question says, tell me whether the relationship is proportional and explain. And it's really simple. You can tell that no, it's not proportional because it does not go through the origin. Okay, so we're going to write no, it does not go through the origin. And we know that the origin is 0, 0. So that's all there is to explaining that. It is not um, proportional because even though it's a straight line, it doesn't go through the origin. And remember, we said those two things have to be there for it to be proportional. So let's look at this one. We're going to make a table. And then we're going to graph the table and we're going to decide if this is a proportional relationship. Okay, here's how we do this, and we've talked about this before, but we're going to do it again. We are going to take our x's, and we are going to fill them into this equation for x. So for this one, I'm going to say 3 times negative 2, which is my x, plus 1. So if I put 3 times negative 2 plus 1 into the calculator, that's going to give me a negative 5. Then I'm going to have 3 times negative 1, which is my x, plus 1, and that's going to give me a negative 2. Then I'm going to say 3 times 0 plus 1, that's going to give me a 1. Then I'm going to look and I'm going to say 3, I'm looking for my x again, times 1 plus 1, is going to give me a 4. And if you need help, put these in the calculator. Don't try to do them in your head unless you just absolutely want to. Okay, then I'm going to say 3. I'm looking for my x, which is 2. So 3 times 2 plus 1. That's going to give me 7. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to plot these points. And I'm going to kind of move, well, unless I can get it like this. I may have to move back and forth. We'll see. Okay, so let's plot the point. We know that x is sitting at negative 2 and negative 5. So we go back 2 and down 5, and we're going to put a point right here. Then we're going to start here again, and we're going to say negative 1. So back 1, negative 2 is down 2. Okay? At 0, our y is sitting at 1, so we're going to put a point here. Then we're going to move to the right 1 and up 4 and put a point here. Then we're going to move to the right 2 and up 7, which kind of takes us, this is 5, 6. It takes us a little bit off the grid here, but that's okay. We're going to put a point here. And then we're going to very carefully try to draw a straight line through these points. Okay, so my questions become, these are the things that I want us to think about besides just proportional, non-proportional. What kind of slope is it? So if I'm reading left to right, it's going up, so it's a positive slope. Okay, that's a positive slope. Is it linear? So is it a straight line? Yes, it is linear. 
And then I want to know if it's proportional or non-proportional. It's really close to the origin, but it does not go through the origin. So it is non-proportional. Okay, let's look at the next one. We are going to do the same exact thing. We are going to take these X's and we're going to fill them in for this X. Now here's the tricky part. This X is a negative X, which means there's a negative one in front of this X. So we have to be very, very careful when we're putting this in. So we're going to have an equation that looks like negative one minus two, because remember in front of any X, there's always an invisible one if there's nothing there. Okay, let's see if I can get my light a little bit better. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to try. Okay, let's see. I'm going to turn that light off because it's flashing a little bit. Okay, so let's do some plugging in. We have x of negative 2, so I have negative 1 times negative 2 minus 2. If I throw that in the calculator, it's going to give me 0. Then I'm going to say negative 1 times negative 1, that's my x, minus 2, it's going to give me a negative 1. Negative 1 times 0 minus 2 is going to give me a negative 2. Then I have negative 1 times 1, because that's my x, minus 2. That's going to give me a negative 3. And then negative 1 times 2 minus 2 is going to give me a negative 4. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to plot the points, okay? We are sitting at 0 and negative 2, so I'm going to put a point right here. And then I'm going to tell you that I did that wrong because we are not sitting at 0, negative 2. I'm sorry, we're sitting at negative 2, 0. So we're going to go backwards to negative 2, and we're going to pretend I didn't do that. Remember, we all make mistakes. I'm just going to pretend I didn't do that. And then we are going to look at negative 1, negative 1. And then I guess I should have just left that because we're going to look at 0 and negative 2. Then we're going to look at 1 and negative 3. And then we're going to look at 2 and negative 4. Okay? Now I'm going to draw a line through it. Okay. Now... Just ignore the alarm in the back. This is a negative slope because left to right it's going downhill, so negative slope. Okay. It's a straight line, so it is linear. I'm going to try to hurry so that we don't hear the fire alarm going off. And it is not going through the origin, so it is non-proportional. Okay. Sorry there were a couple of... Um, Interruptions in there, and I made a little bit of a mistake, but if I don't show you my mistakes, then you don't know that it's okay to make them yourself. If you have any questions, come see me during tutoring, and that is it for this video.